What's up, fellow curious people? It's me here. I just figured I'd make a video about me putting my, uh, this here. My old graphics card from not that long ago. Happens to be a special edition, as you can see. 448. Oh yeah, I know. Big deal, huh? Yeah, whatever. At least it's a further win. See? For the win. Anyway. I'm going to be sticking that right in that second slot. That's my current main GPU. The rest of the stuff in here is crap. The only reason why I'm using this setup is because it's the only board I've got with an extra PCI Express 16 slot. My other one does not, so this is what I'm working with. Oh, and the drill thing? If anybody gives me shit about that, feel free. Anyway. So we're going to be testing if this can be used as a dedicated physics card for some games such as Far Cry 4, Fallout 4, things that require physics processing or whatever. So here we go. Got to put you down for a second though. Maybe not, but I can do this one-handed. One-handed. Oh. Maybe not. Once you've got it seated, you just give it a very firm push until it snaps in there. There's a little clip in there at the end of the PCI Express slot, that little finger it catches, it should catch on it. And then if you want, you can put some little screws in here, which is what I'm going to do real quick. You know, I keep these boxes around because they're handy to carry old screws. Like, here's one. And looks like another one. Just carries random stuff, whatever you want in there. I use bigger boxes for bigger stuff. Uh, so, I'm screwed on in there. Oh, <coughs> and a note for physics, just using an independent physics card with an additional GPU like this, you do not, do not put the SLI bridge in there. Okay, don't do it. I don't know. This is hard to do. Guess what? I made a new mistake. Look, did anybody notice what I didn't do? There's no power connector to my second one. No power connector. We're gonna need that. That's definitely gonna be necessary. 
And I don't think that hard drive is going to let me get in there. We'll give it a shot. But I already have my wires ready. And just to tell you the uh, evolution here of graphics hardware. How far they've come. This takes two PCI 6 pins. This takes one. This is double what that is, in essence. So we gotta take these little guys and stick them in there somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that back out. Be right back. So I have decided to take this old hard drive that's been in the way for like ever now and move it. And by the way, anybody giving me any crap about using this drill to take the screws out? Yeah. Same kind of people are, would give me crap about electrostatic discharge and oh my god, I don't have a, I don't have a thing on my wrist. Or this one been doing this for 15 years never had it happen once from what I understand it has a lot to do with your climate your personal body and just stupid people in general so I guess it makes some people feel cool but whatever well, I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way be right back Well, touched it without that electrostatic static discharge stuff. Whole PCs broke forever. Who misses the good old days? Back when there were just four pin Molex connectors for hard drives and you could just eyeball it and it just hooked up right. Instead of having to fight with it every single time. Yeah. I don't know if you guys haven't noticed. Cable management is something I don't care a whole lot about. But I was just thinking there may be one small issue that is awfully close to the bottom. It may get a little warm, but since it's my old car and I could care less about it, oh well. And that GeForce GTX 960. Oh, yeah, let's get a shot of that right there. For the win, has an ACX 2.0 on it, and thing stays cool no matter what I do to it. So, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna hook the power supply up to the graphics card, and then we're gonna do some tests on it. And if anybody's curious, you do hook your monitor or monitors back up to your main graphics card. Whenever you are rebooting your system and all that, because all this little guy is going to do is render physics for us, do all that business. Let's hope it does good things. Anyway, let's get to the testing. <laughs> 